So one of the most common questions I'm asked is recommendations for waterproof jackets. Now, we all know it has got to be one of the most important pieces of hiking gear you can get. If you're not dry inside, you're miserable. It's as simple as that. But it's not quite as straightforward as having a waterproof shell. You also need a waterproof jacket that is light enough and packable enough that you're really going to take it everywhere with you. Um, like some of my old waterproof jackets and trousers, they're big and bulky. And I ended up not taking them with me whenever I went out and I got caught out several times. So that's what I'm going to sort of look at today. So things to look out for when you're considering a waterproof jacket, you've got to seal those elements in. So you've got to have adjustable cuffs, you've got to have an adjustable bottom, you've got to have fully taped seams. You also need like a storm flap, ideally something like this. But you also need ventilation options. So, you know, I have like mesh pockets, this which has got superb pit zips. Um, and most important at the top, you don't want any water getting in. So you want a really good hood, fully adjustable, and something that is gonna not obscure your vision, but is gonna minimize any water getting in your clothing. So for me, the most important thing about a waterproof jacket is obviously it's got to be 100% waterproof. But the next important thing is, I think it's got to be small and compact. It's got to be the sort of size and weight that you can take everywhere with you, whether you're just going for a walk or a hike or backpacking like this. So you want a jacket that you can put in the front stash pocket and just pop it out when the rain starts to come quickly and easily, the quicker you get it on, the more chance you've got of staying dry inside. Now there's a bit of a misconception with Gore-Tex that it's this like miracle product. It is really, really good. Um, for those of you not familiar, Gore-Tex is basically a material lining that's fully waterproof but also breathable too and it really is breathable however it doesn't let all the moisture out you know if, if you're really getting a move on you're going to get sweaty and when you get sweaty inside you can also start getting cold as well especially when you stop so after experimenting with several waterproof jackets and they've been good waterproof jackets as well there's one particular feature that i've realized i now need from my waterproof jacket this is what i'm really talking about this is the big vent under your armpits and it makes an enormous difference it really really does so my new waterproof jacket is the terra backup jacket gem free they say it's the world's most packable Gore-Tex jacket. Now I've got to say, it scrunches up really, really small and having used this quite extensively over the last few months, I can tell you with certainty, it's 100% waterproof. It's 260 pounds, it weighs 345 grams, which you really can't complain about that. It uses the Gore-Tex pack light membrane. It's got a PFC free durable water repellent finish on the outside. So you've got that on the outside, then you've got your Gore-Tex on the inside. It uses a 50D material. So it's got a really, really good strength to weight ratio, this Gore-Tex jacket. So this jacket's got all the adjustment you would expect. So it's got 
adjustments at the bottom. It's got a two-way zipper. It's got a little button there so you can actually zip it up from the bottom to let some air in but you can still keep it together at the bottom which is a nice little trick. It's got fully taped zips so that's the hand pockets and the side vents as well. It's got a nice neckline, it's got some nice soft fabric here so it doesn't rub on your chin. It's got a fully adjustable hood with a little peak. It's not a wide peak, but it's still got a little peak on it. It's just a really, really nice fitting jacket. So I've been wearing this jacket throughout winter with a variety of layers underneath. So fleeces, both light, midweight and heavyweight, and also insulated jackets too. And one thing I love about this jacket, I can put this over the top of my big winter down jacket as well. Now, Terra is a Swedish brand. As with nearly all their outdoor gear products, they're extremely high quality. Sometimes does come at a price, but the longevity of their products is just something else. Uh, this came from Trekit. Um, Trekit's the online store from Hereford that just basically has all the big brands and all the latest gear. So I'm always on the lookout on their online store for what's coming up and what's just around the corner. Plus, they also have some cracking sales on there too. So I'll show you around this Terra backup jacket. So as you can see, you've got the hand warmer pockets. It's a really nice jacket. Also looks a little bit metallic-y in some lights as well just show you inside it's got like a bit of thermal resistance as well it's fully taped inside absolutely fully taped inside there is no water getting inside this jacket that's for sure so for me i'm a convert now i will not buy a waterproof hiking jacket ever ever again without pit zips they're such a good idea they really really are and they're great for days like today when it's sort of in and out of rain and you don't want to keep taking your hiking waterproof jacket on and off all the time. You just want to leave it on, put your backpack on, forget it, and then you can use the pit zips as you like to regulate your body temperature. So hopefully you like this hiking gear video. Please check out my hiking videos out there got loads of hiking gear reviews too so hopefully i see you hiking soon cheers